What's going on guys? It's Omniarch and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be talking about the best ways to spend your action points in Rise of Kingdoms. So if you're new to Rise of Kingdoms, action points are essentially the resource that you will be using in order to defeat most PvE content. So that includes things like Barbarians or Rallying Barbarian Forts. Most of the PvE content will require using action points to do that. The only exceptions are things like Guardians at certain holy sites and things along those lines. But for the most part, um, you're going to be using action points to defeat PvE content. Um, level 25 barbarians for example if i go to attack them with lohar only costs me 40 action points in order to attack that barbarian if you look in the top left corner um where your little icon is up here you can actually click on it and see how many action points you have over a thousand and if you noticed if you were paying attention right there you saw my action point go up by one and this is a resource that actually regenerates over time until you hit the cap so you're not going to be able to regenerate past 1000 so what's important is that you're actually using your action points um as they're regenerating right because you don't want it to hit a thousand and then you're no longer gaining that that resource which you can convert into really cool rewards for example if you if you look again at this level 25 barbarian these are the potential rewards that you can get from defeating this uh this this army essentially so basically you can convert your action points into these potential rewards as well as experience points right because anytime you attack barbarians you get experience but with that being said and the fact that action point regeneration is pretty slow um it is a resource that is somewhat limited right there's going to be a lot of instances where you may actually run out of action points and the good news is that you can replenish the action points by using these recovery potions um I, I guess that's what you could call them little potions uh, and they'll give you action points immediately as soon as you use one so if I use the emergency you'll see it bumps up by 50 and so I actually have a lot stockpiled here um, and I've used a ton of it recently so what you may be thinking is okay if this is a resource that's pretty limited right um, how should I be spending my action points in order to um, get the most value out of them right because you want to if you're going to be spending a resource that is limited you want to be spending it in the right places so if you're watching this video in the future and you know you're just playing rise of kingdoms casually there's no special events going on there's nothing you know amazing happening then I would suggest throughout the day just killing barbarians um, to spend down your action points so that way you never are reaching that 1000 point cap again it's just better to spend it down and actually use it and get rewards for it from the barbarians than it is to let it sit there and build up and and not actually ever um, use it right so you want to be using it constantly but the real question is how should you be using these action point recovery potions right how should you be using these because these are things you know you can actually use these and, and time them effectively um, to get the most rewards out of these recovery potions right so this video is mainly you know not just for the, the the action points that you get over time but how do you use these potions that may be in limited supply for you um, because again you can you really get those from events you can also get them from the VIP shop I think you can buy um, 50 of these 100 point potions per week if I'm uh, not mistaken and they only cost 12,000 food per uh, potion so they're pretty affordable but again that's not that much um that much action points right that that's the only option that you have here in order for buying it per week the other places you're going to get it are from like events and um I think you get some in the Lucerne Scrolls if there's a Lucerne Scrolls going on for you at the moment. But yeah, like for right here, this will get me five 1,000 action point potions. So there are ways to get it, but it is certainly more limited. So if you're going to time this, the spending of these potions, when exactly should you do it? Well, my favorite time to spend these AP potions um, is actually right now at before Kingdom versus Kingdom opens, right? So before the crusade to the lost kingdom begins uh in your home kingdom there will be an event um called eve of the crusade and this stage the st first stage of this event is going to actually spawn marauders onto the map of your home kingdom so again this is the 
pre-KVK or pre-Lost Kingdom event. Um, and if you take a look on the map, let me see if I can find one. So these little green uh, diamonds, uh, diamond symbols will show you a unit called Marauders. Now, don't get these confused with something like a Lohar. If somebody actually spawns in a Lohar, they also have this little um, di green diamond here. So don't get them confused. If you zoom out, you can see the logo is actually a little bit different but they have the same logo as a barbarian except they have that green diamond so marauders are essentially um i believe in terms of uh difficulty to defeat i think they're a little bit stronger than a level 25 barbarian if i'm not mistaken um it doesn't give you a level here so i think they are all the same level but i would be willing to bet that they're probably equivalent to a level i don't know 26 or 27 barbarians something along those lines and this is my favorite troop type to spend my action points on now there's a couple of other ways to do it right you could spend them in other on other events right and we're going to talk about that in a second but since this event just started last night for me um i think it's important to talk about it right now because this may be the case for you guys as well now i know some of the newer kingdoms right now are actually just ending kvk and some of the older kingdoms like the one i'm in right now are just beginning the next kvk so for some of you this may apply right now for some of you this may not apply for another two months or so um but it's important to remember that this event does come around regularly um, every single kvk before kvk starts so saving up your ap potions for this moment is actually in my opinion probably going to reward you with the best possible rewards in exchange for those ap potions and you might be thinking okay why is that the case right if they're essentially just a level 26 barbarian why are they so special well if we take a look at this level 25 barbarian you'll see the potential rewards and again these are potential you're not going to get these every time you kill a level 25 barbarian but there is a chance of getting these specific rewards as well as whatever experience they the troop itself will reward you for killing um you have a chance at getting 30 gems five minutes of speed ups 1500 experience uh, i guess that's 50,000 uh, food 50,000 wood or 15 arrows of resistance if we take a look at the marauders you'll see the same thing right 30 potential gems seven minutes of speed ups a little bit better 3000 experience which is double the 1500 that you could get from the uh, level 25 barb 54,000 food 54,000 wood or again 15 arrows of resistance so this is slightly better right it's slightly better same gems slightly more resources two more minutes speed ups and you know a little bit more experience but nothing too crazy right well the difference between a level 25 barbarian and a marauder is not just in that and the net experience that you gain the, the experience you gain from killing these i believe is slightly higher as well um but it actually comes in this eve of the crusade event so every time that you kill a marauder um you're going to receive there or there's a chance that it will drop a worn leather satchel um and so what i like to do is i like to kill these marauders and they're uh, here's one oh no i was gonna say here's one right next to my city but it's that's that's the lohar i'm actually going to go ahead and kill this marauder just so i can show you guys um what this looks like and i'm as you can see there i'm actually leveling up my joan of arc right now as well as my herman um and then i'm also leveling up my scipio ever since uh, recording my scipio video i've actually wanted to get him a little bit stronger so let's go ahead and pick scipio here um and i'm gonna bring like just a random assortment of stuff and i'm saving the conquistadors for my uh fourth army which is going to be um my minamoto and my minamoto actually um i have him built as a peacekeeper so he's going to gain a little bit more experience so if you'll notice here the four um armies that i'm sending out are all peacekeeping commanders so you're actually the, the benefit of using a peacekeeper commander is that they actually um having this talent tree will get you it'll reduce the amount of ap it costs to attack 
the um, barbarian but it also will net you some more experience 15% more experience you'll also get more goodies from uh, defeating them so there's tons of benefits of using uh, peacekeepers to defeat these marauders and I highly recommend it um, not only because it's AP efficient but also because you get more rewards for it more experience and whatnot so keep that in mind but I want to defeat <clears throat> this marauder so I can show you the the potential drop rate for these uh, worn leather satchels so here we go we're defeating it we're, we're bringing it down they are pretty easy to defeat especially if you have um, full t4 armies um, and again with peacekeepers peacekeepers are gonna deal way more damage so let's see we used four armies so we got four victories here um, Ethel fled these got 5.8 thousand experience Lohar gained 7 thousand experience 5.4 4.8 so they give you pretty good experience right these are this is equivalent to some of the lower level um guardians which is really really good now if we look here i actually got three worn leather satchels from the four armies now that's not always the case sometimes i'll attack a marauder and they actually won't give any worn leather satchels but typically i would say with four armies i usually get at least one or two worn leather satchels um sometimes you get lucky and get three or four sometimes you get unlucky and get zero um so that's kind of the drop rate of these worn leather satchels now what happens when i open these so i'm actually going to go ahead and open all 91 of these one leather, worn leather satchels and we're going to see what we get so what you're going to notice is that you actually get these i guess these are little like um i want to say little like blueprints of the uh the the what eight wonders of the world seven wonders of the world um if you take a look here the specific pages for these respective seven wonders of the world can be redeemed for these kingdom supply chests now what you'll notice is you don't get an even distribution of these pages again you do need one of each of the seven in order to redeem it for a kingdom supply chest so let's go ahead and exchange all the ones that i can so there's one two three now you'll notice every time i exchange one my points go up and my rank goes up and this actually helps your kingdom in its standing in kvk so not only are you gaining a ton of really great rewards for yourself you're actually helping your kingdom um, perform better in kvk because if you look here um the kingdom that comes in first place for this event gets three percent damage across the board right and that's super useful for kvk second place is two third place is one fourth place is five percent gathering speed kind of meh fifth place is three percent training speed that's really good i think that's really good for kvk then action point recovery research speed and building speed so by doing this you actually you do have a chance of earning legendary commander sculptures which you're versing all the other kingdoms so odds of this are very low but the chance is there um but you are also actually helping your kingdom for kvk before it even starts so super great um event to participate in not only for yourself but for your kingdom so by doing this event i was able to exchange my pages for these kingdom supply chests and these are the chests that make marauders so worth killing right they are so worth killing for these supply chests alone i'm gonna go ahead and open all 12 of them and we're gonna see what we get um, I've actually opened a ton of these already. So we got 16 of the 5,000 individual credit tokens, which is super good. You can use these for um, passport pages, for example, or you can use them for three hour speed ups. Super, super great. Um, we did get 100,000 experience, it looks like right here. We got a million food, 100 gems, a 24 hour speed up. Like these are rare, these are hard to get. So a one day speed up is awesome. We got 1.5 million wood. We got another 100 gems, another 1.5 million wood. And um, we got, what is this? I think this is 750,000 stone. We got another eight hour speed up. We got three brand new starlight, that's useless. We got a 500 gem token, which is nice. And then we got uh, 800,000 gold, which is super, super good. And again, on top of that, you're gaining the experience from the Marauders. You're also gaining the um, the benefits that you get from just killing them, which comes in the form of little gem tokens like these. You also are getting the experience tomes from them. So there's a ton of really great rewards for this on top of actually helping your kingdom win KVK. So the leader of my alliance actually saved up 164 of these kingdom supply chests. Shout out to RK. Um, and he was kind enough to actually screen record what he obtained from 164 of these chests uh, and i'm gonna go ahead and play that back for you right now so let's take a look he opens 164 in one nice big shot he got and let me pause it here he got 48 three-hour speed ups 48 three-hour speed ups 
that's six days of speed ups he got six days of speed ups 14 dazzling starlight sculptures he got 42 of the half a mil wood 31 of the 375k stone he got what five 1.5 million of the uh wood he got 31 of the 50 gems plus the 200 gem tokens that he got three of that's over 2100 gems that he got from these chests he also got eight of the 1.125 million stone tokens nine more days of speed ups from these he got 63 of the 10,000 uh experience tombs seven three day speed ups seven of the three days speed ups. that's insane he also got four epic commander sculptures that's the drop rate for that must be terrible but that's good because those are trash he also got the 1.5 million uh food times four and then he got 240 of the 5,000 credit tokens that's enough to buy two passport pages just flat out you could buy two passport pages with those tokens if you wanted to super awesome and he got 23 eight hour speed ups and near the bottom here we got 15 of the 600,000 gold uh tokens which for some of you this may not be that great because you have a ton of gold but when you're trading t5s like this is insane plus the 200,000 tokens that he got there and another um 500 gem token so overall he got uh 2650 gems it looks like um from these tokens now we move on uh we have 14 of the 50,000 experienced tombs, 33 of the half a million food, 16, so 1,600 more gems on top of that. So I don't even know what we're up to now, um, but we're at probably about 4,000 gems at this point. Um, seven gold keys, 16 brand new starlight sculptures, and that is everything. So from 164 chests, the amount of stuff that he got was insane. And this is all just from spending AP. Now, a new feature for this event that just started last night is that you actually have the ability to trade these pages with your alliance members. So being a member of a very active alliance is going to be crucial for maximizing the amount of kingdom supply chests that you get. Because look, I have 18 of the pyramid of Khufu. There's nothing I can do with them unless I have Temple of Artemis. So I can actually go ahead and initiate a trade, which I already had one pending, um, but I can actually initiate a trade for getting some of these in exchange for these pyramids because I have 19 of these and I can't use them unless I have this so I can actually trade my alliance four pages right and it actually looks like right now a lot of people are missing this temple of artemis which is really frustrating um because that means it's it's one that's difficult for us to get um but some people will have plenty whereas some people won't and so this really helps out the alliance some people um can trade pages and everyone can maximize their rewards now you might be thinking okay well kvk is a, a long time a ways for us maybe yours just ended how else can we spend our ap points if it's not going to be on this event i would say the second best time to spend your ap potions is during an event called the Kurok ceremony um this event comes around i would say maybe once every two months or something like that um it's an event that takes place i believe in your home kingdom but it may take place in kvk as well i don't remember um but the cool thing about the Kurok ceremony is that um, you can actually earn a ton of legendary commander sculptures if you're defeating it on a higher level right and even at the lower levels of the Karak ceremony you're actually getting a ton of epic universal sculptures and that is actually how during the early game i was able to max out some of my epic commanders pretty quickly by actually completing the Karak ceremony in its entirety um the only problem with that is the Karak event is a little bit difficult if you are a lower power player um and it also requires a ton of ap because not only does it require ap to attack the PVE um, units, the, the Kurok units that are spawned in during that event, um, but it also costs AP just to summon them. So it's a really good time to spend your AP potions during that event as well, um, because again, you do get a ton of either epic or legendary commander sculptures that are universal for participating in that event. If neither of these events are happening for you, another place that people tend to spend their AP potions is during Mightiest Governor. So right now we actually have the Mightiest Governor going on. Yesterday, I believe, or two days ago, was the um, the stage of the event where 
for a full day you gain points to uh, from killing barbarians right and what this is going to do is actually help you in your rankings to earn some legendary commander sculptures typically it's a special commander that's only obtained through um, mightiest governor and then later down the line card king I don't actually think this is a great time to spend your AP potions because this event the mightiest governor event is one that you can um, essentially get a huge advantage from just by spending money in other stages of the events so for example the troop training event you can spend a ton of money and gems to do well there you can also spend a lot of speed ups to um get the power event uh to to bolster your points during the power event so mightiest governor is actually event unfortunately that is um, typically won by players who are spending a lot of money and so when you spend your ap potions during that event um it's unlikely that you're going to end up receiving the legendary commander sculptures as a result of this uh, the spending of those potions so you're better off in my opinion saving them for something like marauders or karak ceremony another great time that you can spend your ap potions is actually during kvk um killing barbarians during kvk is essentially equivalent to killing the marauders minus the eve of the crusade event now again this is a really good event um but the benefit of actually doing it during kvk is that you're gaining a ton of uh, reputation in kvk and there's tons of rewards that go along with that and so you can see we're actually we're trying to time the spending of the ap potions for moments where you not only gain the benefit of killing barbarians but an event on top of that will give you even more rewards so you could also spend your ap potions during uh kvk um it's it's not nearly as good as doing it right now during this eve of the crusade event um but you know that is another time that you could do it i wouldn't spend all of them there because again the karak ceremony and the eve of the crusade events are regular events that happen all the time right they they're guaranteed to happen they're not just a one-off like thing these events are guaranteed to happen so saving your potions um for these events is going to get you way more rewards than if you spend it during kvk but again you know spending a, a little bit there is good for um gaining the rewards from kvk your individual points um and also the barbarians in kvk actually give you a little bit more experience than the barbarians you that you get in your regular kingdom so it's a good time to kind of you know uh lay, raise the level of some of your uh your commanders that maybe are a little bit lower so I just opened another one of the kingdom supply chests and I got 1.5 million wood and eight hours speed up in a brand new starlight sculpture. So it's not like one chest is going to give you just a single reward. They do have the ability to give you three different rewards. Um, super, super cool. There's also an event called strategic reserve that comes around once in a while. Um, and this event is similar to mightiest governor, except it's strictly for players who are, um, gathering on the map and killing barbarians. And the strategic reserve event will give you little bonus chests similar to this, but with the rewards being way lower, but the benefit of actually spending your AP potions there is that if you come in first place, I think you get a hundred, it's either 50 or a hundred, um, legendary commander sculptures specifically for either cleopatra or um i think the other option last time i played was sunduk i'm not sure if i pronounced that properly i apologize but um these are both gathering commanders so it's you know if you're gonna spend your hp potions on this event just keep that in mind like you're not getting a super powerful legendary you are getting uh gathering commanders but with that being said these are two of the best gathering commanders in the game um uh cleopatra for example if you max out the second one you get 30 percent bonus to gathering stone which is really really good so um that's another time that you could do it because again not only do you get little um reward chests during that event for using your ap but you also have the chance if you come in first of getting um a, a decent amount of legendary commander sculptures for um some of your really really powerful gatherers but again the two that i recommend the most are this marauders event and also karak ceremony and i would use a majority of your ap potions during this event um you shouldn't need that much during uh the karak ceremony but you definitely will need more than average in your in your daily your daily regeneration is not going to be enough i don't think to really complete karak ceremony with the amount of armies that you would want to use to complete it and one final thing that i want to talk about before i end the video is how do you actually get get more ap right like let's say you went into the vip shop you bought all the ap potions um and you you ran out of your reserves right you have no more left here so now you're basically just waiting for it to regenerate how do you get more of this well there's a couple of different ways to boost the regeneration um sometimes there are runes that can 
boost the regeneration of your AP. Um, I don't know if any of these have it because you know these are really low level runes, but um, there are runes that do boost it by I think either five, ten, or fifteen percent, um, if I'm not mistaken. So that's a pretty significant boost. On top of that, it, you will also get an additional AP regeneration from specific VIP levels. So if I go all the way back to the beginning of VIP, um, if you hit VIP level two, you gain 5% more action point recovery. And then moving forward, if you hit VIP level five, you get another 5%. So for a total of 10. And then if you move up to, I think level eight, um, you get 15 and then level, I don't know, 11 or 12. Um, yeah, 12, you get an extra 20%. So there are ways that you can boost that regeneration rate, um, both of which being primarily um, getting the runes, using uh, getting to a higher VIP level. But other than that, that's pretty much it. I mean, you can't buy these action point recovery potions in essentially any other way, right? You can buy them from the VIP shop once per week. After that, there's no other higher level that gives you action point recovery potions. It's just this first tier of VIP where you can buy it. You cannot buy it in the regular shop. It doesn't exist anywhere in the regular shop. Unfortunately, you also cannot buy it from your Alliance shop. There is no option to buy AP recovery potions from this shop either. So really you are limited with how much AP you can get. Um, and so when you start to hoard it up, it's important to spend it properly. And hopefully, um, I'm, I was able to give you guys some pretty good tips in this video on when you should be using them, when you should stockpile them, um, and hopefully this will maximize the amount of rewards that you guys can get from your limited amount of AP. With that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you drop a thumbs up on the video. It really does help my channel out a ton. Comment down below if you have any other suggestions on when players should use their AP. I would love to hear your recommendations as well. If you guys have any questions about AP or AP regeneration or barbarians or anything like that, make sure you drop it in the comment section below. I'll be happy to help you there. My Twitch link is in my description. So if I am alive on Twitch, even if I'm playing a different game, you can come in and ask me questions about Rise of Kingdoms and I'll be more than happy to answer them for you and try and help out if you're new around here make sure you subscribe to my channel and click that bell button to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kingdoms video and that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omni arc i will talk to you guys again soon peace